Was the imposter Henry Stickman all along? Welcome back my fellow gamers, this is Top 10 Gaming and I'm your host Amanda McKnight. Today we'll be examining the worlds in which two extremely popular games reside, and reflecting on whether or not it is possible that these games actually might share a world, a universe, or simply a reality. Is Among Us set in the future of the same world as Henry Stickman? Are they two separate mirror worlds but in the same universe? And if they're related, why do we have two very different looking kinds of main characters. What does being an imposter versus being a stick person mean? Join me as we explore this and more and find out. Where do we even begin with this video? Okay, so there is actually just so much convincing evidence and easter eggs that help to tie these two video games together, implying that they are in fact in the same universe. Let's start with something simple, some little things that happen to have greater implications. The diamond and the teleporter. When you get to empty the trash in the scaled map, there are a variety of things that you can see being dumped through there. A few of these things tie us specifically to the world of Henry Stickman, the diamond and the teleporter. The teleporter is an object that Henry frequently uses in attempts to pull off heists and great escapes. And uh, yeah, it doesn't always work great, but sometimes it does. The diamond, on the other hand, is something we see him attempt to steal in the game. The question is, were these objects brought here, or are these just items that are easter eggs left by game designers and developers who are fans or worked on the Henry Stickman series? These are the questions. If we entertain the notion that this is no coincidence and more than just tribute items placed here to honor the Stickman franchise, it is possible that Henry has been on the scale before or perhaps even that he is one of those among you. Perhaps he's a crewmate, or perhaps Henry himself is the imposter. We never get to see the faces beneath the suits, but it is possible that Henry is one of the characters being played on your ship, and you just don't know it yet. It would definitely be cool to see Henry go on some space adventures, but why would he ever throw away a diamond? And if you think that Skeld is the end of it, you'd be wrong. There are items littered everywhere, and even ones that appear more specific in terms of the Henry Stickman franchise than the more generic Diamond. In the cafeteria on the Mira HQ map, you may notice when performing the buy beverage task, some familiar items and brands from the Henry Stickman verse, which is pretty surprising, I gotta say. For one, there is the energy drink, which looks identical to the ones found in the Henry Stickman games. So if these games are somehow not in the same universe, then they must have some kind of, I don't know, multiversal supplier for these energy drinks to be there in terms of it making sense in regards to lore. In escaping the prison, the drink gives you super speed and strength, but will eventually kill you. Because yeah, energy drinks, your heart, it's not so good. But maybe the race of beings we play as in Among Us have heartier hearts, or the imposter has made sure to have this drink stocked, hoping that it will kill the crew. Crew. We also have the Don Do present in the vending machine, another drink from the world of Henry Stickman. Do the Don Do. Henry Stickman Don Do is one of the brands that appears, so it's interesting to see it also turn up in Among Us. Is this inner sloth once again trying to remind us, even on the Mira HQ map, that these two games actually take place in the same universe? The two games are like, it's like that, that picture of, of God, you know what I mean? And, and man? They're like touching down at each other. Among Us is like, I see you, Henry. Maybe vice versa, I don't know. Maybe vice versa since Henry came first, I believe, so yeah. <laughs> Beyond small but very specific objects, we have also seen bigger connections in terms of characters and lore even. Like this minor guard character shows up briefly in the Henry Stickman games. This character only plays a minor role in the Henry Stickman game fleeing the complex. You may recognize him as one of the guards at the wall who you can see momentarily chasing after others during the massive riot scene which is started by Henry and his ally Ellie. So how did a guard get involved in Among Us? We don't know any guards that appear in the game, do we? When have we seen any appear or been hinted at? What are you talking about, Amanda? While this guard does not show up in Among Us specifically, he does have a strong tie to the world. In his bio, it's revealed that he won a contest of sorts and was able to name a planet after himself. His name? Polis Petrovic. The name of the map itself named for the planet it happens to be on? 
Polis. What? In other words, Polis is the name of the planet that was named after Polis Petrovic, the guard, because he won the contest. But what is the purpose of the planet? Is it related to the wall? Or was this contest unrelated to Polis' work and something completely different? Is Polis in charge of the planet? There are just so many questions I have. We can assume though, if Polis got to name the planet after himself, that he would at least be involved somewhat in whatever is happening there. Or perhaps the contest was a cover to allow the planet to be given a name unrelated to all the twisted experiments that are happening there. Basically giving those who really control it and the experiments a scapegoat of sorts. Or a misdirect for any authorities who might be investigating. Or is Polis simply more than he appears? Is he more than just a guard? And instead, a ruler of an entire planet. In relation to the game design and why this happened, however, it should be noted that Polis is the map that was itself designed by Puffballs, so hence the connection from a real life logistics standpoint. It would make sense that Puffballs would want to place this Easter egg. So if, just let's say that these two games are set in the same universe, then in Among Us, where are the stick men? Are there stick men inside the Among Us suits? Or perhaps in the stick men games, there are Among Us crew inside the body of the stick people? That seems less likely. Well, while we might not know about the Among Us crew and imposters in the games of Henry Stickman, we do know about a specific kind of pet you can get in Among Us that ties the game even more to the world of Henry Stickman. That is the Stick People Pet Pack. This gives you a small stick person buddy who follows you around while you do tasks on the ship. You're like walking around, they're there with you, you're like, ah, oh, you're so cute. I'm gonna probably get killed soon, hopefully. You're gonna be an orphan, I'm sorry. <laughs> my poor pets. Every time I get killed, I'm like, not my pets. My pets have no one. They're just gonna wait forever or be dead, tragically. Hopefully pets are never getting killed. That'd be so sad. The shocking thing is that these stick men are so small. Among Us characters are actually three foot six. So they're pretty small. They're like here, which means that their pets who are around half the size or less are even smaller. They're very tiny and probably about like, I imagine this big. I don't know how to measure feet because I'm in Canada, but I'm pretty sure I'm close. And you may have noticed with the Stickman that you appear to get a little version of what appears to be Henry or Ellie minus their faces. Although it could be that their faces are just simply too small for us to see without, you know, zooming in on them closer. I wonder if we could zoom in if we'd see their faces, which the game, you know, doesn't allow us to do. But if anyone can zoom in, you know, enhance or whatever people say, enhancing is not a thing. Anyways, so the question is, if Henry and Ellie are these stick people, now how did they get here? And does this definitely confirm a strong enough connection for us to consider these games in the same world? Or do you still consider this is just an Easter egg, it's just a coincidence? Also, what does the size difference mean? Like, why are they so tiny in comparison? It could be that Henry and Ellie are both younger here and basically are the children of the Among Us crewmate that they're running around with. Perhaps Among Us is actually set in the past of Henry Stickman, or perhaps Henry and Ellie are just being held captive and have been shrunk somehow, turned into the pets of these giants in terms of comparative size and these menacing overlords. Either and also neither could be possible. Why? Why neither? Because ultimately, Inner Sloth made both of these games. So any linking Easter eggs could be just a complete coincidence. Also, Henry Stickman is known for its various Easter eggs to many games, which means that Inner Sloth could just be fans of, you know, dropping Easter eggs everywhere. But it still makes us wonder. Some games that companies make are set in different worlds for sure. BioWare has Mass Effect and Dragon Age, which both seem quite separate. Although if you if you know a lot of things that maybe connect those, I'd love to hear about that. That seems crazy. Naughty Dog has Last of Us and Uncharted, which have a few references and linking easter eggs that make you wonder, but nothing confirmed. And then you have games like Valve's Half-Life and Portal, which definitely appear to be in the same universe, although not quite in the exact same time period. When it comes to game links and easter eggs in games made by the same company, it's always something up for interpretation. Do you think these easter eggs confirm that both are in the same universe, or do you think it's all just coincidence and fun little references included by developers. Let us know in the comments below. This has been Top 10 Gaming and I'm your host Amanda McKnight reminding you to keep on gaming on. Pew pew!